All right, this is take three of the planet Jupiter on the evening of April 14th, 15th. Uh, time, local time is just a little after midnight now, probably about 12.15. We have the planet Jupiter and four of its largest and brightest moons in view in real time. We're seeing it through a Milan 250 telescope made by Takahashi and a Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor image intensifier with its input carefully modulated via a narrowband methane 889 um, centerline 12 nanometer bandpass filter, 889 nanometer centerline, which cuts the light down to a narrow sliver of deep red light and minimizes atmospheric percolation because we have just a narrow sliver of light to look at the planet with, but the image intensifier intensifies the heck out of that red light and gives us a rather interesting image. Uh, the sparkles are noise in the image intensifier, but everything else is the real deal. You've got the, the disk of the planet Jupiter with its cloud belts, and four of those moons, Ganymede, Callisto, Europa, and Io. The inner two, one of those would be Io. The outer ones... Possibly Ganymede, Europa, not sure which is which. I haven't checked my sky so far, I keep saying that, and I really should, but... Check out the cloud belts, that's the most interesting feature. You've got uh, a couple of equatorial bites, belts, a light one, a dark one, as you, as you go down, and then maybe hints of some narrower ones in this lower half of the disk, and the upper half of the disk has uh, another dark belt, and maybe hints of a couple more. Now, I've made a few other sh um, takes of this using other image intensifiers previously to this one. Just a few minutes ago, I shot with uh, L3 unfilmed green phosphor, and then prior to that, an Intens by Photonis uh, P22 phosphor, which is also green, but a deeper green. This is the white phosphor, and this is what you get. Uh, by the way, I have a Sony Alpha 7S camera. Its settings are 1 60th of a second, and the uh, shutter speed in the ISO, I believe, is 500. Yeah, and I have a Litten 1X relay coupling the camera to the back of the image intensifier. So, not sure what else I can say other than to move the planet around. The scintillation sparkles are somewhat similar to what the green phosphor tube uh, shows, but the Photonis Intens had fewer sparkles. I guess there's a tendency for those tubes to uh, show less and dimmer scintillation spikes compared to the uh, United States US L3 tubes. But reasonably good contrast there. I could possibly knock down the uh, ISO. I might take one more take and try that. So anyway, planet Jupiter with uh, Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor and a meth narrowband methane filter in real time. Okay, that's a wrap. Oops, wrong button, sorry. <laughs>